Good morning. Hi. Just me and my bloom to start off the day. So I recently was up north with my family for a week, which means very fun, but lots of bad food, minimal exercise. So today I'm just trying to like get back on track. I'm trying to have like a really healthy day. I'm just feeling it. Feeling good. Productive, but like I want to mainly focus on like the health aspect. Like I just, I just want to like feel good, like my body to feel good, you know? I am already starting off great because I'm having greens in the morning. This is new to me. I just ordered Bloom Nutrition's like greens from Amazon Prime Day and I I have been drinking this when I wake up in the morning and I love it so far. It makes me feel like alive. Like it makes me feel like I'm getting like a good start to the day. So good. Cheers to that. I've been trying to get some sunlight like earlier in the day and even though it didn't look like super sunny out, it was nice to like just drink my greens outside, you know? I am going to work out early today. Usually I work out at night, but I decided today I'm going to try to work out earlier in the day. That being said, I'm not going to do a whole skincare, but I slept with a sleep mask on, so I should wash that off. And just some of my cellar water to make sure everything's like off of my face. Before the workout, however, I really need to run to the grocery store. I ordered a pickup the other day and they didn't give me frozen fruit. And I want to have that for breakfast. Like I paid for it, but they didn't like include it. I know after I work out, I'm going to be so looking forward to that smoothie. So I need to pick it up right now. Set myself up for success, you know? I honestly love being up early. I really do. Here it come, Metro Market. Originally I ordered frozen strawberries, but I decided to get strawberries and raspberries. I got a little sugar snap peas as a snack. <sighs> we will see how a morning workout treats me. Before I work out though, I'm gonna put some castor oil in my hair, like in my roots. I've been doing this lately and I'm gonna wash my hair today. That's like why I'm doing it. I don't know if I see many benefits yet. I'm a big castor oil for eyelashes girl. So I used to try to work out like before I would go to work last year when I worked a nine to five, but I would never wake up early enough for like a full workout. So then I'd always be like cutting corners. And then ever since like last fallish, when I actually was serious about a workout routine, I was working out at night every night, but I just can't decide which one I like. Cause I am such a morning person, but I'd like to like get up and like chill and have coffee. And I feel like if I do that, I don't really know how to like plan it around my workout. I go so back and forth. What do you do? If you have a routine, a strategy, honestly, I'd love to know. I really would. I'm excited. Let's do this. I remember why I work out at night. It's because I have literally no energy in the morning. I am a morning person, but like, I think since I have no real food in me, I just have the greens. It's like, this workout is literally a million times harder. Stopping at three miles today. I'm saving my last mile for a nice little hacker walk outside. Because it's good to get outside, but I'm not gonna do it now because my hair is so oily and that would literally ruin my headphones or something I sweat so much more when I'm in oil mask in my hair. It's crazy I threw some chia seeds and water in my blender so that it could soak during my shower. I am so hungry I just finished making my smoothie I got out of the shower and I put those frozen strawberries and raspberries in here There was the water and chia seeds and then I just put the protein as you saw I already had greens this morning So I wanted to do like protein and like fruits, you know, I feel so accomplished at the end of the day when I like know I've had a really well-rounded day. But look at what I did. Look at what I did. Yeah, okay. I'm actually really excited about this. This protein tastes so good. Mmm, that's good. It's like actually sweet. I'm just trying to have a really good day. So my outfit of choice is the Aritzia Wilfred Free Divinity 7-inch romper. I recently got the Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant. I bought this on Prime Day. I've been wanting to try it out for so long. I think it's really good for like texture and like those like little bumps and I get those way too much. I can use it morning and night and I hope that it's just gonna do me wonders. First Aid Beauty Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Moisturizer, of course. And an oil. I always overdo this. Ice rolling and finishing my smoothie. And now for hair, I got a super cool little kit from this brand called Lux yesterday. This is not sponsored by the way, but it's essentially kind of like a Dyson Airwrap uh, dupe. So basically it has like the barrel and it has a bunch of attachments. So the regular hair dryer, a round brush and a like flat brush. You know the most exciting part is the curling barrels, which we are gonna try these out today. I looked up like a couple tutorials, stuff like that last night. Your hair is supposed to be damp. I'm like not sure if this is too damp still or not. Like, I just have no idea. Okay, okay. So I'm taking the barrels that will push it away from my face. I 
and then you give it a cool shot. Turn it off. Okay, look at that first one. Okay, let's try another. It was so easy. It actually like grabs on way better than I expected. Those are the first two curls. totally grabs on tight like it has no problem wrapping around the barrel I think the hardest part is just gonna be figuring out how to use it best definitely think it needed to be more wet when I started how damp my hair needs to be and what angle do I want to start the wrap and how long to hold it how long to do the cool shot so I feel like once I play around <laughs> So I feel like once I play around with it more, I'll figure out how to use it better. But I mean, these look good. They're cute and they're nice. And it's a super cool product. Like, I like that the product itself, you can tell, like, it it wraps. Like, it, there was no question about it. It wraps. So, like, the product itself works. I just need to figure out how to use it best. And my hair is literally stick straight naturally. So, like, anything is good for me. I will link everything below. It was so kind of them to send this to me. I do believe I have a discount code with them, too. So I'll put that in the description box as well. Voluminous, baby. I feel like I've been getting ready for like a year. <laughs> I feel like I've already had an entire day and it's it's only like 11 a.m. Anyways, I thought my cute little like bouncy curls would look so fun with my little bucket hat. I haven't worn it yet. I got it like last week and I'm wearing my little romper. So here's outfit of the day check. I was gonna put on my Converse, but I was like, you know what? I feel like sandals today and a purse. Tell me why these are the only colors I wear. First up, we're going to Plato's Closet. Yes, I've been to Plato's Closet in so many recent vlogs, but I have more things I want to take there. I haven't had coffee yet today, which is insane. And I feel so annoying saying that, like, oh my gosh, I haven't had my coffee. But it's literally like the first thing I usually do when I wake up. Ever since I started drinking the Bloom, it's been like, okay, wake up, greens, then coffee. But it used to be literally wake up coffee, you know? So I grabbed one of these. I had a case of La Cologne when we were up north previously, and we had some extras I took home. This is just a plain, like, vanilla latte, but it's so good. Yeah, that's good. I really like La Cologne. I went to an actual like La Cologne coffee shop in Boston. I had the best latte of my entire life there. The cans are still good, but not as good as like, you know, when you go in. I hate when I talk too long. I'm like, Morgan, you're being boring. Get on with your life. I have arrived. I'm not counting on much here. I only have one bag and a lot of these things are very hit or miss. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. That's not the target I usually go to, so I felt so like turned around and lost in there. So I I didn't film. I was like, I, I can't do this, I don't know where I'm going. But I went to a different location because I did a pickup order and I didn't have this at my usual one. I wanted to get a tinted sunscreen. I was gonna get the super goop glow screen, but I didn't feel like spending 35 bucks. I wanted to try out this and I love CeraVe in general. So I'm going to Switzerland and I thought this would be really good to bring with. One, because I'll be outside a lot. And two, like I'm not gonna be wearing much makeup because we're gonna do a lot of like hikes and stuff like that. So I feel like a tinted sunscreen would just like make me feel good, you know? But after I placed a pickup order, I realized I needed a few more things. I ran out of these little hair ties. Well, this is my last one. When I say I run out, I don't have any extras. So I got another pack of these. I really like to do face masks on the plane because I'm extra. Um, So I got a vitamin C eye mask and then I also got an actual sheet mask. This is a hydration one and I'm spending eight hours on the plane. I also was thinking today, I haven't had kombucha in a long time and today is a day about health, about feeling good, about just doing the most, right? And they were two for six, so I got two for six. This one I've never tried, Lemon Berry. I feel like it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna try this one today. And then I also just got the regular, like, Trilogy one. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, my Plato's Closet pickup was literally ready before I even got to Target, so we're gonna go back and get it. Okay, before I started reversing out of my spot, the lady in the car next to me was putting her stuff in her trunk, and her cart rolled and literally hit my car. What the hell? I mean, it was just her cart, not, like, her car, but, like, I, I like, looked at her. I was like, what the f but I wasn't gonna like get out and check like it was just like a target cart and it must have just like blown in the wind But that was so awkward. Why do things happen to me? And then she was just staring at me Like I don't know if she was like, I don't know if she's gonna come like say something to me or not. It would that ah, I'm so happy. I'm, I just left. 
I can't wait to get home. <laughs> and I always purposely park far away in the parking lot and like not next to anyone because I like to be in my own space in my own area, which probably annoys some people that are like driving with me, but I always park far away and of course someone happened to park next to me. And it's time to pick up. For the results, I got like 15 bucks from them, which is honestly what I expected. When I saw the items they took, they took more things or like items that I didn't expect them to take, so not bad. I'm gonna bring some stuff to a donation next. It's like 2 p.m. I don't know I've gone this long without eating like real solid foods yet. Let's let's go do that. Very excited about this. We have avocado toast with tomato, arugula, and everything bagel seasoning. Of course, some sugar snap peas that I picked up this morning, and a leftover egg roll, because why not? And this is actually so good, so I'm very happy. A great lunch. I'm honestly so tired right now. I don't really feel like doing anything productive. I think I need to be a nighttime worker outer because I'm just like wiped, man. But I never remember to take my vitamins, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I actually got a little trio from Grande Cosmetics. They're really known for their lash serum, I think. But I have a vegan collagen booster, healthy hair, skin, and nails. And then I also have a mood booster, cognitive function and stress management. I have this one, which is improved sleep and relaxation. It has melatonin in it, so I think I'm gonna try this tonight. I really like my Highline Wellness gummies that are the night Tim ones with melatonin and stuff, but I'm gonna give those a try and just, you know, see what's up. Okay, I'm gonna answer some emails. I was just sitting outside doing work on my computer and it got a little bit sunny out, so I figured, let's try out that sunscreen. I did use my First Aid Beauty Mineral Sunscreen this morning. This is just like our regular face sunscreen that I use every day, but let's try the tinted one. CeraVe Hydrating Mineral Sunscreen. I heard that mineral is kind of the way to go. Correct me if I'm wrong. Face, sheer tint, and it's SPF 30. So I have like a little bit of makeup on, but nothing crazy. It says it's lightweight and non-greasy, so that's good. I'm just hoping the color is okay. Oh, okay, it totally shows up. Oh, I feel like that's a good color. I mean, it is sheer, so hopefully it kind of like blends out really well and kind of just like ends up matching like a variety of tones. They don't have any color options. It's not like pilly. It obviously doesn't leave a white cast. Oh, okay. I feel like I really like the shade, actually. I feel like I like this. I will link this. I just got it from Target. I'm sure you can get it from many places. Three essential ceramides and niacinamide. Oh my gosh, okay. Niacinamide, I think, is something that helped me get rid of some of the texture. I tried out a niacinamide toner from Good Molecules and it was so good. Okay, I'm gonna do more work. I changed my mind. I am at a good spot in my emails. Today is about feeling good. I am gonna go on a little hawker walk before dinner. I deserve it. And because I wanted to get in another mile that I didn't do this morning, I would really like to just zone out and listen to something. A little mental break. What do you think tonight's dinner is? Rice from the rice cooker. Salmon. Soy sauce. And then last time I bought this stuff, they didn't have like the regular mayo, so I got the hot sauce. So then I just don't add sriracha in addition. And half an avocado, of course. Mmm, seaweed. Gourmet. I seriously never get sick of this. Like every single time I have it, it is just as good. It's a good like well-rounded meal. It's just everything. It is a very sad day when you realize you're about to make your very last liquid IV. This is a watermelon flavor. I do really like it. It tastes exactly like a pink Jolly Rancher, in my opinion. Let's make it. Water. I'm just trying to replenish the electrolytes, you know? I sweat a lot this morning. I always like go to Liquid IV whenever I just like am bored and like want a little something or if I actually need it, whether I got a good workout in, I need to hydrate after drinking a pick-me-up. It's just like, it's, it's fun. Watermelon. I also like the berry flavor. Ooh, so good. I do have a discount code for 25% off and free shipping. Oh, so good. We are gonna feel refreshed, hydrated, healthy, wealthy, rich, <laughs> that bitch. Name that song. Before I start like getting ready for bed and stuff, I almost forgot there's two things I wanted to show you. I got this cute little like lamp. I wanted to put it like next to my bed because the lighting in here kind of sucks. I don't know, I just don't really like it. But if it's nice like right by my little side table and it's really like sleek, you know, like looks modern. There's different intensities. 
and there's also different colors. It's super cool. I like filmed me setting it up when it came in the mail like last week, so I'll insert that now. So the lighting in my room like actually sucks, and I think I've talked about it before. I know it probably looks fine right now, but I'm kind of in front of a window, but I have these like overhead lights that just make everything look weird. And so I got a little floor like standing lamp from Amazon, so I wanted to kind of like set it up and show it to you and everything. I'm very excited about it. It's from this brand, Simpa. LED floor lamp, better lighting, better living. Honestly, that's so true. I feel like lighting is everything. Not only just for like filming and stuff, but just, I don't know, brightens your mood when you have better lighting. I hope it's not hard to put together. Here's a little floor plate. The directions. I always like start not using the directions and then end up having to use the directions. Here's the plug. I got the all white one. There is a black one as well. Okay. Okay, that was actually the easiest thing ever. I totally thought I was gonna have to whip out the directions. Literally all you did is the plug comes straight from underneath the bottom, so it's nice it doesn't come out of here, but you just pull the string through, and it was just a twist. You can just barely see how that's two separate pieces right there. You literally just had to twist it into place. No tools, nothing. And then it's all the way up, and it's this super like minimal design, and it moves like you literally however you want it. And here is where the light comes. Ooh, you can see how it's getting brighter, and then you can also change the tone. So warm middle cool i love that how nice i love it especially because i hate that i have to like haul out my ring light all the time but this is like an actual like room lamp so it'll just add some light and it'll be perfect for me so modern minimal simple perfect I feel like this would be perfect for like a little apartment too like where you don't want a ton of things to take up a lot of room something else i quickly wanted to show you the box is sitting here which reminded me i got a package from parade yesterday you know how much i love parade i talk about them all the time they have new collections and new launches all the time too which is really fun and exciting they got two cute little pairs of undies I just got some fun colors. It's a fruit salad collection is what it's called So I got this nice like blue colored thong and then I also got this bright like really orangey pinky peach color I don't know. This is super fun. It has like this little detail too I wanted to get like a dress and stuff, but I was kind of like late on game, which is fine But I'll like link all my parade stuff too. I get stuff from them all the time Like scent stuff, but I also buy stuff from them a lot too just because I like them a lot So I wanted to show it to you. Let's go make some bedtime tea because why not? I've been wanting to eat ginger whether that's like in a tea or something because I've heard it's good for like bloating and stuff like that so I just cut up a few pieces and I'm gonna boil it in some water and then throw it in like a green tea what a cute little like bedtime feel good you know I just rinsed off took my makeup off did the skincare all of that I wanted to try my new self tanner I haven't tried saying Tropez yet I'm on the hunt to find like my favorite self tanner and I've tried probably almost everyone in Ulta it's just their like regular classic mousse I have my mitt we're ready to go and then I'm also gonna try their water face mist I've been so excited about this. All right, we're just gonna go for it. The color looks nice. I don't know why I decided to start with my left hand. Oh, it's very light. Okay, thoughts? The smell, totally fine. The color, great. It's definitely very lightweight, and I feel like I'm not sure how to describe it. Like, it goes on, and it just feels very light compared to a lot of other ones. Not like the color is not gonna develop, just like the consistency is light. Like, it's foamy, but it, like, goes away, like, gracefully. I don't know. It blends really nice. I have had some that just, like, don't blend well. The blend is great. Overall, I like it. Like, it's showing up, but that's the thing. It shows up when you put it on, but it doesn't show up a ton. I feel like it's one that, like, shows up a little, but then will really develop. So like when I was applying it, I could see where I went, but the lines weren't clear. I'm pretty sure there's only one shade for like the classic St. Tropez mousse, but it feels great so far. Obviously as it develops in tomorrow, like I'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and try the St. Tropez face mist. So it said that you can use it like literally under or over makeup, like whatever. So I just did my full skincare and moisturized and everything. I didn't do the self tanner on my face because I just want to test out this mist. You know, like I've heard of drops. I've heard of like a self tanning lotion, but like I've never heard of a mist. So it was very intriguing intriguing to me. It just says cover the full face five to six drops and it develops within a few hours just like the tan would. So here we go. Kind of nervous that I'm gonna like miss or get it on my white. I'll just go this way. Good news, the mist is like very light and very full. I think that's why this works. Well, if it does. <laughs> I think this is why it's good for the face because it's not very powerful, but it, it's like a gentle cloud. So I think it does good about like covering your face but not being too harsh. So I'm just gonna kind of let this dry and we'll see everything tomorrow. That being said, it is bedtime. This was a long vlog. It was a good vlog. It was fun. I feel good. Like I had such a good day and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope this inspires you to live out some healthy habits. It truly makes me feel so 
good when I'm like practicing things that I know are good for me and I'm like feeling good at the end of the day, like a nice well-rounded day. I don't know, just everything. From food intake to like exercise to self-care to like mental things, like I just, it was a great day and I want more of these. But I probably will be working out at night from now on because I just, I can't do it in the morning. I don't know how you guys do it if you do it. I, my body just is slow in the morning, but that's fine. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it to this point. I love you and please subscribe if you're not and I hope to see you in my next one. Thank you.